Hello everyone, it's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. Today, I'm presenting you another spectacular vehicle. I'm sitting behind the wheel of an outstanding 1969 Chevrolet Camaro Yanko 427 recreation that's the product of a complete and correct meticulous show quality restoration. This car is truly a star. Why? Because not only is it spectacular, but it was featured on Power Block TV with Courtney Hansen, and it was also featured in Jake Owen's video, Days of Gold. You gotta check this car out. To start off this uh, video here, this is a non-rehearsed video. Um, I'm going to forget multiple things, I'm sure, throughout the presentation. So make sure to visit our website at msclassiccars.com for a full description with tons of highly detailed photos. We spend a lot of time on our photography so you can see as much of the car as possible. If you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, please note that I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. We've been doing that since inception. We're the only classic car dealership in the country who services everything we sell. We document that work with an invoice, which you can see in our photo gallery and of course, it's in this binder here, which I'll review with you in a minute. When the vehicles are done being serviced, we detail them to the highest level. And then of course we do amazing presentations. I wanna be very, very clear. Uh, so I'll say it over and over again. We buy some of the best cars in the world and every single car that we buy needs service work. We eliminate all the surprises and all that extra money that you have to invest in the vehicle when you get the vehicle from MS Classic Cars and we really handle the transaction very smoothly regarding all the paperwork. I even insist with the enclosed shipping, we cover these cars with plastic when they're inside the carrier to make sure that they arrive at your house as cleanly as they were at the dealership when we presented them. So again, please do your homework on MS Classic Cars. Let's talk a little bit about um, first generation Camaros. If you visit our sole page on our website, again, msclassiccars.com, we have over 700 sole vehicles that you can reference. You will see that there's a huge section for first generation Camaros. When we start talking about 69 Camaros, uh, we have had some of the best cars in the world. Matter of fact, we've owned multiple Camaros that have achieved the legend certification, uh, which is at the highest standard of judging. We're very friendly with Jerry McNeish of Camaro High Performance, who does a lot of our certifications and so forth. Not only have we had some of the best factory correct cars, but we've also had some of the best custom cars. Again, you can reference all those cars on our soul page. With that being said, I'm a really good judge of character when it comes time for uh, analyzing and judging and inspecting these cars. In my opinion, 
This particular car is at the top of the scale when it comes time for quality. It is absolutely one of the best Yanko 427 recreations I've ever seen. Uh, so again, this is a very, very special car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just reference uh, some of my notes here throughout this presentation. And I am just going to read you the opening statement again off of our website. Uh, so it kind of sums everything up here. Uh, this outstanding 69 Camaro, uh, I'm going to refer to it as a custom simply because it is a recreation. Uh, it's a true star with its correct show quality restoration and media exposure. It was an example featured on Power Block TV with Courtney Hansen and Jake Owen's music video, Days of Gold. You can Google it. You can actually see uh, the video with this car in it, uh, racing a red Impala. It's a really cool video. Um, it was also a good guys, uh, mighty muscle award winner. This is actually the plaque that it received uh, to document that it won that award. I am a member of good guys. Uh, if you don't know much about the good guys, uh, Rod and Custom Association, you gotta check that out as well. Uh, they not only deal with custom vehicles, but they do have factory correct vehicles at their car shows and so forth. Uh, but it's a really big deal to win an award there is a pretty cool thing. And this car was a award winner there as well. As the VIN number indicates, this vehicle was built in Norwood, Ohio as a 69 Camaro two-door coupe with an eight-cylinder engine. As the trim tag indicates, it was a special paint color. From the information that I've gathered, this car was originally born rally green. It was the product, again, of a meticulous rotisserie restoration, which was built to close as possible Yanko 427 standards. Very, very important uh, that you understand what those standards are. You gotta do your homework on these cars. It was obviously finished. Uh, it only has 385 miles since it was finished. That was around 2010. Uh, since the vehicle has been stored properly, it appears extremely fresh. This car looks uh, really from the exterior, interior, engine compartment, undercarriage, like it was restored yesterday. It is that spectacular. Um, you're looking at the next best thing to a real 69 Yanko Camaro. Uh, it's right here. It's available right now. So let's talk a little bit just for a minute about the Yanko Camaro included in this binder that I have. I give a new binder for every car that I sell. I include the information in plastic sleeves like I've done here. Um, I just want to touch base quickly on this really long article uh, that I included about the Yankos and what they are, but I'm just going to read you uh, the first uh, couple of short paragraphs here so you understand if you don't know uh, what the Yanko deal is all about. So this article here, which is from Hecock Insurance, starts by saying there were Camaros and then there were Camaros. Don Yanko called his SYC, which you'll see in the back of these headrests, you'll see him on the car, that was the mean one. Uh, he wasn't kidding. As far as the Camaro was are concerned, there's some of the meanest Camaro pony cars ever built from a small dealership in Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. The dealer was Yanko Chevrolet, and the SYC, which stands for Super Yanko Camaro, Camaros were legends in their own time, both on the street and the drag strip. Don Yanko is a proficient amateur racer as well as a Chevrolet dealer. He had competed in prestigious events as the 24 Hours of Daytona, 24 Hours of Sebring, um, and uh, convertly factory back Corvettes. His racing success provided him with strong ties to the factory. He built and sold a variety of conversation pieces at his dealership since the 1960s and has been doing the, 19, uh, the 427 Camaro conversions since Chevrolet introduced their pony car Camaro in 1967. So if you do any homework uh, on these cars, you'll see that they are very rare. Again, I'm referencing the real cars just to give you a little bit of history here. In this article at the end, it gives you production numbers. Uh, which are all spelled out here. They made 201 of these cars um, in 1969, the Yankos. So they're very, very limited. Of those 201 cars, only 21 of them were actually painted this color. And then they break it down with how many of them were manual shift and how many of them were automatics. But this clearly is one of the best 
uh, examples of a recreation that I have ever seen. So that gives you kind of an overview. Of course, uh, if you were looking at a truly documented and certified uh, Yanko, you're talking about hundreds, two, three. I've seen them sell 400,000 plus over the years. Again, depending on uh, what was done, the quality of the cars, the documentation, et cetera, et cetera. But these are truly spectacular. So for all the people that necessarily don't want to get into that type of price range, uh, maybe can't find the right car, this is the next best thing to it. So let's talk a little bit about uh, this vehicle here, starting with the exterior. Um, again, as I said earlier, we have a lot of experience with these first generation Camaros. This body on this car is absolutely spectacular. I would say that the body is laser straight. I would say that all the gaps on this car are outstanding. Uh, again, it is spectacular when you look at the body. Of course, when you look at uh, some of the features like the cowl induction style hood, the Endura uh, front bumper, uh, you look at all of the trim work, everything is in absolutely beautiful condition. Of, as I mentioned earlier, it's painted in rally green. That was the color that this car was believed to have been painted when it was new from the factory. The paint job on this car is at the highest level of quality. It is absolutely stunning. It's virtually flawless. Um, it's just spectacular. The pictures, the video here do it absolutely no justice. We did a really good job at MS Classic Cars as we do with every vehicle, bringing the paint to the level that you see today. The green paint is complemented with the signature Yanko stripes. Those stripes are actually placed on the hood, they're very unique. Again, you'll see the SYC, the Super Yanko Camaro. You'll also see the white side stripe that goes down the side of the car, again, with some of the signature uh, stuff on the back. And then, of course, you'll see all of the emblems, like on the cowl hood, you get the 427 emblem. You'll see the Yanko emblems throughout. Uh, it is really, really uh, a special looking car and people really recognize these cars uh, for what they are. They're just a piece of American history and uh, something that we're very proud to have. I don't think in all of the years and all the vehicles that we've owned that we've ever had a Yanko recreation because most of the cars that I look at are just not at the level of what MF's Classic Cars collects. So it took me a long, long time uh, to find one that fit uh, the, the mold of what we do here at MS Classic Cars, this was the car. When you're looking at all the glass in this car, um, again, uh, during this restoration, the goal was to make the car as correct as possible. They even went to the extent when they replaced all the glass of stamping it with all the factory correct style stamps. Uh, they wanted to make it almost appear as if you were buying a brand new Yanko from the dealership. Uh, in this great recreation. So again, crystal clear glass, all the stainless trim fits absolutely beautiful throughout. New wipers, uh, it's got this new uh, mirror here. It also has, again, all new uh, components throughout. If you look at any of the moldings, you look at any of the trim work, uh, you look at all the, you know, the headlights, if you look at the taillights, et cetera, et cetera, everything is brand spanking new. Even talking about the headlights, and I am going to reference my notes here to make sure that I'm accurate when I say this. Yes, it does have T3 headlights. So even the headlights are correct uh, for this car. It does sit on the correct style American Racing Torque Thrust wheels, which are 15 by 7. Uh, they have kind of a natural center with a polished lip. And also the wheels are wrapped with correct Goodyear uh, Wide Tread GT Poly E7015 tires. So they really went for that correct look on the exterior and they nailed it. When we talk about the interior of the car, the interior is really as good as it gets. It's absolutely outstanding. The first thing I'm gonna comment on is the headliner. A lot of times these headliners and these Camaros, they tend to sag. They don't really fit properly. They're wrinkled in the corners. This one is really, really tight. It's super nice. The dome light is brand new. That is in working order. The sun visors are nice and thick. They stay up. A lot of times these sun visors will fall down and so forth. These stay up nice and firm. Brand new uh, rear view mirror, brand new dash pad. All of the instrumentation is brand spanking new. It does have a functioning clock as I'm sitting here doing this video. 
the clock is actually working. Obviously, it's got the 7,000 uh, uh, RPM gauge, uh, working speedometer. It does have a little bit of that wood trim on the dashboard. It's the simulated wood trim. It does have a full center console with the TikTok gauges, obviously white face gauges. Uh, it's got the wood trim on the console here, which matches the dash. It's got the really nice new uh, wood steering wheel here. Again, it's the three-spoke uh, steering wheel. All the door panels are brand spanking new. All the door hardware is new. The seats are new. The seats have got seat belts in the front. It's got seat belts in the back. Again, everything is brand new right down to the carpeting. The only thing that we did at MS Classic Cars besides cleaning the interior um, and obviously servicing everything, which again, you will see uh, on that invoice, which is uh, on our website uh, photo gallery. On the subject of that, before I forget, this is the invoice here that's in that binder. And we did invest almost $10,000 in this vehicle. Again, everything is laid out here so you can see exactly what we did. Um, but regards to the interior, uh, the only thing that we actually added to the interior is I went online and I found a brand new set of uh, Yanko embossed uh, carpeted floor mats. I thought they looked absolutely perfect in this. Normally back in the day, they would not have had carpeted floor mats. It would have had rubber floor mats, but I think these just added a little bit of character to the interior, so I went that direction. Again, cannot say enough about the interior. It is absolutely gorgeous. Looking at the trunk compartment in the back, again, they did all of that correctly with the correct uh, trunk splatter paint, uh, the correct trunk mat that they offered from the factory, the matching spare tire, the tools, etc. You can again see all those pictures within our photo gallery. This is where things get very interesting now that I'm on the subject of the engine compartment. When you open up that hood, and you look at the attention to detail that's in that engine bay, it is at a very, very high level. One thing I wanna do here is I'm gonna read, because I am gonna reference some of the numbers um, that are important, because again, you can do a Yanko recreation, uh, maybe you use uh, the colors, you use the stripes, you use the correct wheels, maybe even do some of the little things in the interior, but the real deal is when you get into the engine compartment and this vehicle really was done very, very correctly. So uh, again, it's highly detailed with many correct parts. Uh, the firewall, inner fenders, and radiator support was painted black. Um, it does have the uh, orange letters that would have been done at the factory when it went down the assembly line, B, uh, P, T. Uh, you, again, you'll see those in all our pictures in this video. The car is powered by a correct date coded 427 V8 that's got an estimated horsepower at 425, which is what it was back in the day. Um, it's been completely rebuilt. It runs great. We did a great job servicing this at MS Classic Cars. Um, so the engine casting number, which a lot of people want to hear, is six, I'm, I'm sorry, 386. Uh, 8512, which is a four bolt main 427. The engine is outfitted with a correct uh, 840 steel square port heads and aluminum snowflake intake, which is casting number 3938163. Again, it has the chrome valve covers with the Yanko stickers. It is correct, uh, equipped with a correct Holly carburetor the GM cowl induction air cleaner and smog system. They went to the extent of doing all of that as correct as possible. The engine is cooled by a correct Harrison four core curve neck radio, I'm sorry, radiator. Also uh, other details include the CZ stamped alternator, GM stamped hoses, correct uh, clamps, the gold brake power booster. It even has a correct battery topper. So it looks like it even has the correct battery in the car that it would have had back in the day. Um, the engine breathes through factory manifolds and a correct Gardner style dual exhaust. Gardner makes the best uh, versions of the original exhaust on the planet. Uh, this is something that probably was thousands of dollars when the restoration was done, but it just goes to show you how correct they wanted to be with stickers, with stamps and chalk marks, and just getting all the right date coded components. So much thought went into this car. It really just goes on and on. The engine is coupled to a correct date coded Muncie M21 four speed manual transmission. Of course, that was rebuilt. It shifts smooth through all the gears. And then the power is transferred to the pavement through the correct date-coded 
GM 12 bolt posi rear end with 410 gears. I needed to read all that because it's really important uh, to clarify exactly what it has. And again, you can see everything on our website. The undercarriage of this car is also highly detailed throughout with many correct parts. It is mirror quality underneath. What I mean by mirror quality is if you display this car at a car show, you can absolutely put lights under the car, put mirrors under the car. It is that nice underneath. They did a beautiful job. Everything is very, very correct. Again, factory chalk marks, stickers, tags, etc., are all evident throughout. Um, Again, the floors are basically painted the same uh, color black as you'll find in the engine compartment. Uh, all the steering components, the fuel system, suspension components, braking components, uh, everything in this car has been restored or replaced during the restoration. Again, it only has 385 miles. So that concludes uh, the presentation of this particular car here. Um, before I go ahead and start it and let you listen to how beautiful it runs, I will ask uh, if you have interest uh, in MS Classic Cars and you have not already signed up for our VIP email blast, please do that. That is the best way to follow us here at the dealership. We have thousands of people that are on our email blast. If you have not followed us yet on social media, we are on all the social media networks, so please make sure to follow us there as well. Um, again, MS Classic Cars is not a high volume dealer. We will never be a high volume dealer, especially with what we do with our cars. Uh, people always ask, you know, am I ever gonna have more than uh, 10 or, or, or 15 or 20 cars on my website at any given time? The answer is no, because we have at any given time, 50, 60, 70, 80, whatever the number is in cars and the total collection. But again, we put these vehicles through a very, very detailed process regarding service and cleaning them, and that takes time. So we will never be able to do high volume, uh, but it's what we really hang our hat on. It's our quality and our reputation, and of course our customer satisfaction. So please do your homework on us. We really appreciate all the interest. Now it's time to listen to this beautiful car run. Uh, to be very uh, frank here, I did start the car outside before this video. Sometimes we do cold start, sometimes we didn't. With this particular car, it does take about 30 seconds or so when it's been sitting you know, for weeks or whatever the case might be. So I did start the car. I let it warm up outside for maybe uh, two or three minutes. We backed it back in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it now, let you listen how awesome it runs. There it is. Starts like a small block. It's dialed in, absolutely beautiful. It runs extremely, extremely well. You need to picture yourself behind the wheel of this absolutely stunning Yanko 427 recreation. We appreciate you watching. Thanks again. Rock and roll.